Many objects are supposed to have an idealized geometry like a line or circle, but subtle deviations from these shapes can reveal useful information. We present a new method, deviation magnification, to visualize these subtle differences from ideal by amplifying them. In this case, our method reveals that the roof has actually started to sag, indicating that it may need to be repaired. We can do the same processing on a different image of the house, showing that our method is consistent across views and illumination conditions. In a second example, a user specifies a line of interest on the barbell and a region in which to warp the image. Then, the deviations from straight are amplified by five times, revealing the bending of the steel barbell due to the weight on it. London's famous Elizabeth Tower, or Big Ben, is known to be tilting slightly to the northwest. We take an image of the tower with an eastward-facing camera. We use off-the-shelf algorithms to fit a vanishing point to the vertical lines. Then we amplify the deviations from vertical by eight times, revealing the tower's tilt to the north, in this case, left. We do the same thing with an image from a viewpoint on the other side of the tower. Again, we reveal its tilt to the north, in this case, right. This gives us a way to see the subtle tilt of buildings in the world. We had to correct for lens distortion. Without correction, the tower's tilt is reversed, as shown on the left. The lens corrected version matches reality. We have also produced an interactive demo of our technique. The user roughly scribbles a line on the object of interest. The line is automatically snapped to the nearest straight line, in this case the top of the bookshelf. Then, the deviations from straight are amplified 10 times. You can see the bookshelf buckling when weight is placed on it. You can also see the shelf move when a person pushes down on it. We filmed several bubbles with a high-speed camera after their generation. For every frame in the sequence, we automatically fit circles to the bubbles. We then amplify the second circular harmonics of both bubbles by 15 times, revealing their dynamics. Each frame was processed independently. Motion magnification of the corresponding temporal frequencies does not work on this sequence due to the large frame-to-frame -frame motion of the bubbles. If we first stabilize the moving bubbles, we get a similar result to our new technique, lending credence to it. We filmed a candle in front of a piece of paper with straight lines on it. We amplify the deviations from every straight line, revealing some bumps on the paper. When we light the candle, you can see distortions caused by the flame's heat changing the index of refraction. We can show the vertical component of the warping field to show the heated air above the flame. Since our technique only depends on geometry and not temporal changes, moving the camera doesn't affect it. In contrast, related techniques like background-oriented Schlieren look for changes in time and can't easily separate the camera's motion from the flames. This image shows a moon of Saturn interacting with one of its rings. We automatically fit lines to the image and apply our method revealing a distortion in the ring, possibly caused by the moon. This image is actually one frame in a time lapse, and we can apply our technique to every frame. The resulting temporal consistency validates our technique. We also stabilized the sequence and motion magnified it. Because there are so many changes over time, even after stabilization, motion magnification does not do a good job. Applying our technique to such images could be a useful tool for astronomers studying these complex interactions. In this example, we amplify the low-frequency deviations of the ball from circular and do the processing independently in each frame. Now you can see the deformation due to impact and the vibrations of the ball afterwards. We compared a motion magnification without and with stabilization. The stabilized result is similar, except at the moment of impact, which is not handled well by motion magnification due to the temporal discontinuity.